Yep. Okay, all right. Joel's computer, he woke up this morning and went into it. It's been completely locked by the Australian Federal Police, supposedly for um, um, uh, pornography, terrorism, uh, take your pick. However, it's... Oh, they're, they're trying to sting me for kitty porn. Yeah, they're try he said they're just trying, trying to sting him for kitty porn. Anyway, it says uh, if you pay $100, they'll unlock it. If you don't pay the hundred dollars, then they'll confiscate everything, and it could result in charges, all kinds of things like that. So it's heating up now. Tell us about your dream. Well, this morning it was about um, six thirty in the morning. I was about to get up. I thought, oh, I'm still tired. Yeah. Um, and uh, I just go back to sleep. And this dream was very lucid. It was incredible. Um, I saw meteors hitting the earth. I was out in an urban area. And it scared the shit out of me. And then I looked up in the sky, and there was a massive hot asteroid coming in. And I thought, geez, what, what am I being shown this for? And then I looked at the horizon, and there was two suns, one side by side. It was just an amazing, lucid dream, and it scared the shit out of me, to be honest with you. Right, well, it's great. There's no reason for you to be scared. You know the name. It's Brian Let It Go Lightly Marshall. Um, you, you and your household will be safe. However, we've been warning the world. Uh, the world has rejected God. This is the shit hitting the fan and it's all good. Um, now, uh, also your dream confirms the vision. Did you see that YouTube about the vision of a, a boy just four years old about two weeks ago? His father uploaded it. Okay, well the, the small boy, only four years old, drew what he, he thought, he, he drew our son and two other sons, uh, one was like one, uh, our son and the other one was like the orange, uh, yellowy colour, but the, the, the second son was a blue colour and he said they were very angry looking and then in the next scene he drew, um, he called them uh, rocks from heaven, a, a great long trail of rocks that went around the earth and then he drew them falling onto his own house. And so his father uploaded it and said that, you know, the, the child has been under no influence of anything that he's got from him. He doesn't watch TV, anything like that. He he's only just, four years old. And he's only four years old. So out of the mouths of babes. And then on the 21st of December, there was a report uploaded onto the internet about a fireball from heaven, it was described, that hit a tiny island in the French Polynesian Marquess chain. And the name of the island was Aia. Now, on the map, you can't even see the island. It is so small. And it was supposed to have struck at 12 noon. Now, we did the numbers on it, measuring to Yahweh's birthplace, and it talked about um, fire and flying, and then also executioner in the Greek. Now, as it happens, nobody's been able to confirm the report, and I dug deep, and, and uh, the report had this script, was supposed to be a, a report from somebody who lived on the island. As it turns out, the island is uninhabited. But it gave... But it gave... Interjection. Yes, Interjection. Sorry. It is now uninhabited because the internet says so. In other words, they've got so many... Yeah, there you go, mate. There's so many people working on it, that any Wikipedia or any information anywhere on the internet is instantly rewritten. Yeah, yeah. So it did happen. Absolutely, this is what we've been waiting for. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the angels work in mysterious ways, as I know, and you know, and uh, they, they give me the dream, there's no doubt about it, and all day it's been on my mind, you know. And I want to say to you guys, listen, um, that has backed off a bit, but I have to. Uh, my life has been a lot less stressful with Sydney and everything else, but just know this, I know the truth. You're in my thoughts every day, and I love you guys, all right? Yeah, it's all good, Dad. That's when are you coming up? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, was, I was five and a half hours away from you, but with the job I had to do and everything else, it was just impossible for me to take that time off work to get up to see you. But, um, look, you know, at the end of it all, we know we're all going to meet up. 
Why do you think I bought a, a, a computer and you put a hundred bucks in? Yeah, I know, mate. Well, that's the whole idea. I want her out there. Yeah. Like a troll is much better advertising than it is uh, someone who believes because they say, oh, you're a nutcase. But a troll who's tearing me to pieces and tearing us all to pieces is uh, spreading the word like crazy. I love it. That's why I tell everybody to get fucked. Hey, you too. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's exactly why. You're not influenced. I mean, you know us, however, you don't have any biblical uh, uh, understanding. This is all biblical. This is all, you know, it's all in the Revelation. Yes, yeah, no. You know, Ash, I, I think I've only picked that bullshit Bible up once or twice. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think it's important to understand that the Bible is not the Bible. Yeah. Um, well, well uh, we've, we've told you over and over, like the rest of the Bible has been compromised. However, you don't throw it away because the codes are all in the numbers. However, the revelation is accurate because they didn't know what to do with it. So they left it untouched. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. Anyways, guys, I still watch your stuff and I'm still there with you. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely here with you. I'm, you know, my soul is with uh, Yahweh and Ash. How's your brother going? How's Steve going? No. No. Do you know for certain that he got it? What's his phone number? Oh, I think I've, I think I've got it. We'll give it again. Okay. Do you want me to yeah. send it to Yeah, yeah, text it to us again. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Just remember, it's all good. It's, uh, our redemption draws nigh. Yeah, yeah. And we're sending you a tithing envelope. <laughs> He said that we're sending you a tithing envelope. It's his Jesus joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, can you ask Joel, because I, I just don't get my head on this YouTube too much, so I've gone back into work floor, and I can't work the shit ahead. I'm on a computer head, or, you know, it's great, mate. And can Joel please have me what page put your latest stuff on when he's not on password? Well, well, wait on. He's completely locked out. Remember I told you before the conversation, the AFP, Australian Federal Police, have locked his computer totally. They're setting him up to go after him, he thinks, on kiddie porn. This is all because of the uh, challenge, to, we think, to Pete Santilli, who is a shill. Uh, one of uh, Joel's last uploads was challenging Pete Santilli, who's been giving Sherry a really hard time, um, to have Brian on the show. Anyway, the shit's been hitting the fan and we think that's what it's over. Well, he used to work in a school, you see, so it, it, it would be automatic. If you're going to set someone up, it, it set it up from the school uh, background. That's what they do. They tried it with me in Canada. But uh, I'm his lawyer, so that's it. <laughs> right? Exactly. Swear on swear on. He's innocent even if proven guilty. <laughs> Anyway, it's all good, but it just means things are heating up the fan and they're packing the shit and having your uh, dream that, uh, you know, Asia is hearing this because every single one of them, a meteorite, has their name on it. <laughs> yes, yes, well, you put that up on YouTube, but the dream I had is, is just incredible. Yeah, we're recording it now, it's going up. I uh, love you too. <laughs> Bye. Later, get it. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.
bastard. Talking. Samson himself. <laughs> oh. Anything more to say? No, I'm just so excited. This has made my day. <laughs> so the Church of Philadelphia is um, the oldest uh, organised nation that became Christian, which was... Um, Armenia. Armenia. Yes. The uh, Jews who call themselves Jews and are not the bullshit holocaust that they invented for themselves was actually the holocaust brought against the nation a of holo. Armenia. Mm. Uh, uh, Armenia. And uh, it's a copycat when you read the massacres and genocides that's been carried against the Armenians because they remain true to Jesus Christ. They are the 301 AD. They declared their entire nation to be totally Christian. The king at the time of um, Odessa, uh, while Jesus was still alive, he took ill, he heard of Jesus. Yahweh, Jesus wrote a letter to him rather than go visit him and the letter was taken to him by the apostles Bartholomew and Thaddeus. They delivered the letter and uh, right then and then the king of Odessa uh, gave himself over to Jesus Christ and it was after the ascension that, um, by the way, the king was healed at the receiving of the letter and was after the ascension too that the shroud of Turin was taken to Odessa by uh, Thaddeus and Bartholomew again to the king and they halved it. So they are the first nation and they have remained true and loyal to the Lord Jesus Christ and they have suffered persecution. They are the dysphoria throughout all nations of the earth and wherever they have settled in whatever nation because of the persecution of uh, the, the Turks, the uh, Islam and the Jews, they have remained faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ and brought integrity and prosperity to whatever countries they have uh, settled in. They have 11 million all throughout the earth. There's uh, 3 million 300,000 in the capital of Armenia today and they are a strong intellectual, cultural, artists, scientists, physicists, architects. The architecture of the uh, Byzantine era was all stolen from their architect in the 9th century who was um, called Titi Antes. And uh, he was the one to influence all the Byzantine and the beautiful works. It was all of their intellect and intelligence, men of uh, astronomy, science, mathematicians, culture, poetry, uh, the written word, their own alphabet, their own Bible, and they have remained tr faithful and true to the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, they have been persecuted for it. They've been tried to wipe down many times. The, the genocides that have occurred against them are remarkable. Yet they still remain on the earth today, and as it happens, 11 million of them, they celebrate the nativity of Jesus on the 6th of January. They celebrate 12 days of Christmas from the 20. 5th through to the 6th of January, which is the anniversary of the finding of the Ark of the Covenant by Ron Wyatt, 6th of January, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And so it identifies... 1982. It, 1982, when Yahweh uh, was 1982 weeks old. So it's all being revealed. The Ark of the Covenant, of course, uh, is sealed with the blood of Jesus as um, he was speared on the cross through the heart, it spilled down the left side of the cross at the instant of an earthquake, split the rock 20 feet through underneath, was hiding the uh, Ark of the Covenant in the Jeremiah's Grotto. I might also add that in further uh, digging and investigation, oh, Armenia, of course, is the land where Ararat, their history is from Noah, Noah uh, was leaving the ark after it landed on Mount Ararat, which was in Armenia. Um, of course, it, it was his son, Japheth, who settled the land of Armenia. So, they have been the ones to be preserved throughout history through all persecution. All genocide, massacre and holocaust have been committed against the Armenian people by the Turks and the Mongols and, and the Jews who call themselves Jews and are not. That's why the area is in so much turmoil today. So it's all about the Armenians, the Syrians of course, they're Armenians in Syria and the Palestinian Authority is Armenian. They are of the Armenian Apostolic Church. That is the, that's what it's all about. Trying to wipe out the Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, 
and his remnant of people throughout the earth. But they are in all nations over the earth and are a very strong, intelligent community contributing much to the um, areas that they are in. So, it's all good for the good, as we've been saying, and um, they are the church that survives throughout this period of time where uh, very finely tuned and directed meteors will be taking out as fire from heaven all of these abominations that have made desolate America. Or if the underground will get them too. We won't oh, forget about you, no, don't worry. No, earthquake, underground, no worries, doesn't matter how. And I'd like to give you this award. <laughs> you, you pulled it off. You, you discovered the Church of Philadelphia. Ah, oh, there we go. The Church of Philadelphia. So that's what it's all about. All prophecies being fulfilled. It's all good for the good. The Asher Award goes back home. <laughs> Can't wait to meet them all. Now, um, yes, all good for the good. Uh, not so good for the wicked. Yeah, your time is up. You're out of here because these meteorites, each single one of them, the weight of a talent, has your name on it. And uh, we know that you will refuse to repent and still reject uh, God, Brian, then go lightly, Marshall. However, it's all part of the script, and the good are looking forward to it. Can you guys say anything? I'd more? just like to say uh, <laughs> that my um, eldest stepdaughter was uh, involved in this cult, uh, a fellow who was a sex cult from uh, Indonesia, and this guy claimed to be the royal family of Indonesia. However, because she was the high priest, she was taking on uh, all the sins. Well, naturally, it's a sex cult. So he gets ill, and uh, they have a vigilance every night. The members would go and sit overnight. Well, then on this Friday night was uh, uh, my. Uh, what was her name? And yeah, her name's Dimity, but she had some funny name that they gave her. Mantra name or something. She asked me, she said, if I gave you the miracle order, if I gave it to her, and she gave it to him, would he be cured? Because he's near death. I said, well, I'd either cure him or kill him. So I mixed them up and I put my blood in it. And uh, she took it that night and gave it to him. And I said, I told her with instruction, don't let him get out of bed. He'll end up having a heart attack. This had happened once before with a friend of mine that uh, didn't listen. And uh, he had cancer and um, he's an old friend of Michelle's, Mary Magdalene, and um, she went to school with his wife. Lovely man, but uh, he, had, he had cancer, and I said to him, look, I'll cure you, but you've got to promise me not to do anything strenuous because you've been sitting around for so long, you big fat guy, anyhow. Next thing, he's dead, right? So what happened was he uh, took the uh, water, felt so good, that he got up and started mowing the lawn on his farm. And that's it, face down on the grass. When we drove up, I had a GPS as I always do, and I took the, the readings as it goes, and it records the nodes, that is, from one turn to the next and speed. And one node was doing 888 kilometres per hour. And that's how the computers or the GPS equipments work. They listen to what the angels do and uh, make these things available to me for showing the world as an actual proof to this exists because you can't alter it, right? That's how it was recorded. So she takes the water to this guru, drinks it. Next thing, he's up and he's going for a crap. He felt terrific. Off he strides, right? As he's coming back from the shitter, he falls down face down in the alley, dead as a pill now. Now, I've been putting my blood into the sea for since the year 2000 in Melbourne. I did that for several years. And that blood drains down through the system into the sea. And uh, once there's one cup of my blood in the sea, the seas will turn red. And of course that's what they're doing. And it is death for many things, but it's life for others. So likewise, uh, the water that's going to be raining down is coming off the sea. So Nowhere on earth will you be able to be without one molecule of my blood running down on the earth for every square hundred centimetre. Well, so, that's what it's all you. about. Now, of course... So I planned all this. Getting back to the... Article. Big uproar, actually, when I put it up on the oh, YouTube. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. shit. Got his blood in it. <laughs> I said, I'll cure you or I'll kill you, one or the other, huh? 
So getting back to the Ark of the Covenant, of course, when Ron Wyatt discovered it, he was instructed to uh, seal it up again after some time. Not before, though, uh, Israel took it I over. I think that deserves I get it back. Oh, OK. All right. All right. We'll share it. It's a shared award. Here, here. Here go, babe. To the finale. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so is Israel, of course, the Jews who call themselves Jews and are not, are, um, wanted to take it over and, and do whatever they and denied that he was given a permit to do it, even though he had the six signatures on it. So they sent him their four dudes and they didn't come out. So, of course, the authorities had to send for Ron Wyatt because uh, a great, the Ark of the Covenant has been the most sought after artifact of all history, throughout all history. And so it took a humble man who um, was given the information where to find it. I might add that uh, Michael also told um, Diana and myself years ago while we were in Canada that it was underneath the cross. So, um, the you never told me. No, I didn't until this time. I, I, because I kept, you, you kept saying, well, the argument doesn't mean anything now, does it? It's all history. Well, it's all part of do that. that. Oh, alright. Well, anyway. So when I read Ron White found it, of course, it was like, a, of course I knew track, that. Right? Uh, of course I knew that. So it's all, it's all been confirmed. You knew it, yet you still didn't tell me? Yeah, well, it was just like, well, okay, it's there. And then it was just days ago, and I'm remembering. And I get the most antagonistic <laughs> awards. I do this to you all the time. Oh, I get does, you just does. going like a little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, now the four dudes who didn't come out, of course, they had to send for Ron White to go and get it, pull out these dudes, because they were dead. I cross indicated a stroke. He had to drag them out. The dude is Jews. They called out Jews. The Jews, yes, the, the, the dudes, the, the Jew dudes. The Jews that say they are Jews are. I know. So the the whole point is of the Ark of the Covenant is that uh, no man can approach it and live unless they are pure and faithful and true to the Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God. Now Ron Wyatt himself died of cancer in 1999. There, in other words... He was killed. <laughs> yes. However, it means that there is no man on earth who can approach the ark and live. He was instructed to seal it again, which it was. So there's going to be a time when uh, Indiana Jones here and I are going to go and get it and bring it home to New wherever Jerusalem. we are. The New Jerusalem. Heart Revelation 3.12. And we're also going to get the uh, uh, Shroud of Turin. It will be hanging on our wall. So, it's all good for the good, not so good for the wicked. Everybody's forgiven, however, it doesn't mean that you get to live. Isn't that good news? <laughs> He's forgiven you all, however, you've been so deluded and deceived and that there's no hope for most of you. So, you will die in the um, coming... Yeah, uh, meteor shower. Me meteor shower. Something about execution. talents from heaven. That's somewhere. right. Uh, but you'll get a chance, because he has forgiven you, you'll get a chance to come back when we've taken over and uh, truth reigns on the earth and it's uh, paradise. Okay? So as the ice melts in Antarctica, because mm. of the Coriolis effect now, uh, the um, preserved uh, Garden of Eden seeds are being uh, evaporated with the water to form uh, what raindrops as um, ice and then the ice becomes floating on the uh, winds carried around the world at the southern hemisphere and uh, then it is dropped as ice forms into a uh, snowflake or vice versa and the little uh, uh, pollen is the, the key for the ice flake to build a, uh, a uh, hail and then it hails down and then it hail melts and it turns to rain so you bring this little tiny seed Every raindrop has got the seed in it. Imagine that. All around the South Pacific. Mm. Every raindrop that falls has got something that has been manufactured in Antarctica. Yeah, so. Mm. The Red, Fighting red times Sea. Ahead. Remember the name, Brian Then go like the Marshall. The only name that saves. The new name of God. Revelation 3.12. Yes. Yeah. And if you add that up in Gem 3, <laughs> it gives you five, 2520 in English Gem 3. Put a zero on the end of that and divide it divided by 365.2424 days and it gives you my 69th birthday in days. How old I'll be. And 312 is BLGM 
Brian Lennox, Lightly Marshall, and English Gematria. Hmm. Now, Harcourt is where we've already declared New Jerusalem and uh, served the Queen from there. And um, uh, we have an area picked out where the, uh, everything's going to revolve around. And um, we have the Harcourt money already made. But at the end of Rothschild Avenue where I was born is a street called Harcourt Parade. Now when you measure from uh, 105 Rothschild Avenue, there's your Satan right there. Uh, 105 is Eagle. When you go to Harcourt, there's an Eagle's Road. A small road, only a couple of kilometres long. But if you go from the... Uh, 105 Rothschild Avenue to Harcourt Eagle Road North down to Harcourt Eagle Road South and back up to the 105 Rothschild Avenue which is just above Harcourt Parade <laughs> cross formed by Harcourt Parade so it is a distance of 888 miles which is Jesus Creek it's not that hard is it 